Hi everyone, this is Fahad Mirza and I welcome you to the channel. Microsoft has just released this RD agent in the wild. It is an open source R&D automation platform that has been designed to boost industrial productivity in the AI era. The primary focus of this tool is on automating high value generic R&D processes, particularly in the data driven scenarios in the fields of finance and medical. There are two key objectives which this RD agent provides. First and foremost, it streamlines critical industrial R&D processes to enhance development productivity. Secondly, it leverages AI to, dr to drive data-driven processes, ensuring efficient model and data development. If you look at its framework, that is pretty straightforward. So this is the RD agent tool which is built on an autonomous agent framework that comprises of two essential components. First is research or R which actively explores new ideas in pro and proposals. Then we have development which realizes and implements these ideas. And then you can look at this feedback mechanism and that is where it is evaluated through practical feedback. This feedback loop enables continuous learning and growth in both research and development capabilities. So in this video, we are going to get it installed locally and then we will see how it works. You can either integrate it with Azure OpenAI or you can simply use your OpenAI key. So for that, you would need to go to platform.openai.com and grab your API key from there and that is a paid option. It doesn't work with the local models, by the way. Anyway, so before I get it installed, let me also thank Mast Compute who are sponsoring the VM and GPU for this video. You really don't need a GPU for this one uh, because we will be using the hosted model. But if you are looking to rent a GPU on very affordable prices, you can find the link to the website in video's description. Plus, I'm also going to give you a discount coupon code of 50% for range of GPUs. So this is my Ubuntu system which I'm going to use. Let's first git clone the repo of this RD agent I, and I will drop the link to its repo in video's description. Next up, let's create a virtual environment with Conda. You can either go with 3.10 Python or 3.11. I'm just going to use Python 3.10 because that is what they have suggested in their repo. Let's wait for it while it does create that let me also introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are camel ai camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling laws of agents with applications in data generation task automation and world simulation okay and then we are going to install our rd agent with simple pip command and that should be fairly quick it is quite lightweight as far as i can see and everything is installed next we need to set up our environment so just rename this dot env dot example from the root of the repo to dot env let me open that and show you what exactly it looks like so this is our dot env file here and you can see that you can either use azure if you are using azure just make it true here I'm just going to use my OpenAI's API key. So I'm going to put my API key here and I will leave the rest of the values as is. So let me set it and save and exit. So I have set my keys and everything is ready to test this thing out. So the good thing is that Microsoft has provided some of the uh, demo models and agents which you can readily use. So I'm going to show you a few of them. So first up, I'm going to show you a finance data agent. And the thing is that in the dynamic world of quantitative trading, if you have done ever or if you know about it, factors serve as a strategic tool that enable traders to exploit market inefficiencies. These factors, which range from simple mat matrices like price to earning ratios to complex models like discounted cash flows, are the key to predicting stock prices with a high degree of accuracy. Now, by leveraging these factors, quantitative traders can develop a sophisticated strategies that not only identify market patterns, but also significantly enhance trading efficiency and precision. 
and this ability to systematically analyze and apply these factors is what separates ordinary trading from the truly strategic market out maneuvering and that is where this finance model agent comes into play. So the scenario which we are going to look at is where this agent is going to illustrate the iterative processes of hypothesis generation, knowledge construction and decision making. So let me run it and then you can check it out how it looks like. So in order to run this from the root of the repo, just run this and by the way before you run it, make sure that you have docker installed. Now I have a recent version of docker installed which is fine because this all is done in a virtualized containerized environment so make sure that you have it. So in order to run this finance data agent all you need to do is to run this command. So it is running at the moment just wait for it it is using the docker file it seems it is going to take long time because it's already been three four minutes it is running it is still running as you can see and it is doing a lot of stuff i think the agent is not running and then generating lot of stuff interestingly enough it is also what it defined my gpu devices so i suspect it is also using some of the local agents i'm not sure because these logs don't tell you much but i think it might be running some embedded model locally and there you go so agent has started working so i'll just scroll up because it passed very quickly there you go you see so this is where that trading stuff is happening that first as I mentioned that it is going to work on the hypothesis so that is what it is doing at the moment as you can see and then after the hypothesis generation it is going towards factor generation so because first it generates the hypothesis and then after that it divides the task and then each task involves developing defining and implementing a new financial factor including its name, description, formulation and variables and then factor implementation is happening where factor code is based on the description and then it is evolving it as a developer would do that so which is pretty interesting and then it is also doing the quantitative validation on the newly created factors as you can see doing a lot of stuff back and forth back and forth checking and then it you see it is now back testing it with Qlib so what it is doing here it is integrating the full data set into the factor implementation code and then building the factor library and then it is conducting the back testing using the alpha 158 plus uh, newly developed factors this is all finance lingo and then some of the data set so for example this alpha uh, 158 plus is from the lgb model which is csi300 and that is why it was doing the gpu stuff earlier there you go so all the hypotheses are there it is working on it lot of stuff is happening and be aware of your api cost from OpenAI towards the end i will also tell you how much it, uh, did it cost me but for now let's not worry about it you see lot of code is being generated from all of these hypotheses factor generation it's a very comprehensive very detailed uh, analytical agent i would say there you go, still working, working and doing a lot of stuff there, creating the code and all that stuff. Interesting. So I will let it run for a bit. So see it is creating different sort of codes. There you go. So if I just scroll up, this is all it has been doing. And it's all magic of G OpenAI GPT-40 model. So I will let it run. I, and I think this is one of the problem which I think this project needs to improve because it goes a long, long time and then uh, produces some of the results. Like I have seen it running for 15 to 20 to 30 minutes even. And this is a code which I just wanted to show you it has generated. And you can also customize it to generate uh, your own data. But that is very, very cumbersome to do so that is the second objection i have on this project that for example if i want to have my own 
um, domain agent how would i do that there is not much information there you would have to build it from scratch so that is something i would say for a common user not really very friendly the tool looks quite good i mean i'm quite impressed by the detailed reasoning and all that flow but i think current implementation doesn't really merit uh, it to be used for the general purpose that is my opinion um, and if you look at this project's dates this was like seven eight months ago and uh, even more and i have looked at this project before it was really very half baked but they have at least now made it so that it would run hopefully they will also make it easier to run and give some graphical user interface where we could play around with their documentation is also not good um you can generate a, they also have shared a medical agent which you can run maybe a kaggle agent but still i think for general purpose use a long way to go but very very promising no doubt about that one last thing it has cost me just for the full run which i did previously around for which took around 30 minutes for finance agent it cost me around 15 us dollar so pretty expensive i would say for one run for just one agent but maybe um, it might give us some trades which would make us uh, next warren buffett who knows anyway so that's it i will drop the link to it in video description if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you're already subscribed please share it among your network as it helps a lot thank you for watching